Johan, it must be a sad week for you. You've been with Ulster Rugby for four years now and you've made a huge impact. Yeah, it is a it is a sad day, you know, and it's obviously it's it's been an emotional couple of weeks and months, and uh, uh, you know, but that's that's the way that life goes, and that's reality. And uh, uh, look, I've had an amazing four years, and I've loved every second of it. And uh, uh, you know, my original plan was to come for two years and then retire, and two became three, and three became four. So. Uh, look, I've, I've had an amazing, you know, amazing 16 years of rugby and, and I don't think there's a lot of players that can say that. So uh, it's the right time to, you know, to, to hang up the boots. And uh, But like you say, it's obviously really sad. Sorry. Johan, you were voted Ulster Rugby Personal Personality of the Year twice recently. Uh, it must be humbling for you and it just shows how much you mean to everyone here at Ulster. Yeah, look, it is a, it is obviously a very humbling uh, reward that you know that I received, and uh, you know, and I think uh, the, especially this year, I think people have just felt sorry for me because I'm leaving. But uh, uh, it's been a, it's been a great journey for me and, and for my family, and, and we've loved our time in, in Northern Ireland and Belfast. And uh, uh, you know, on and off the field, it was a it was a time that you know that, that we'll never forget, and uh, uh, and something that you know that we'll take with us, uh, obviously going back to South Africa. And Johan, you just mentioned that you came for two years. Stayed for three, then you stayed for four. What influenced that decision to, to stay on here? Yeah, look, uh, I think uh, my first, you know, when I when, when before I actually came over, you know, when uh, when I signed a two-year deal, my first deal, uh, you know, the plan was always to come for two years and, and then retire, um, you know. But uh, you know, within the first couple of weeks, you know, we fell in love with the place and with the people, and uh, uh, and we really enjoyed, you know, our stay here, and uh, uh, and it was really easy decision, you know, to stay for the extra year and then another extra year, and uh, and if it wasn't for the body, you know, I would have loved to stay for another two three four years but uh, uh, you know this is this is the right time for me to step away you know my body is, is obviously taking a, a huge amount of abuse in the last 16 years of rugby and uh, uh, and and you know it's, it's tough to, to play at this level you know week in and week out if, if you're not fully fit so um, but uh, yeah like you say it's been amazing and uh, and it was it was you know really enjoyable four years and can you pinpoint a favorite memory at Ulster rugby Oh, uh, I think there's plenty. Uh, you know, there's plenty of memories in the four years, and, and uh, you know that that uh, away win against Munster, you know, was was really special in 2012, and uh, and then the semi-final at the Viva with 43,000 Ulster supporters was was one of my favourite rugby memories. You know, uh, uh, and I think you know this year um, there was two that stands out for various reasons. Uh, you know, the one was the Saracens game. Was uh, the you know the stand was full for the first time, 17 and a half thousand people in the stand and, and just the atmosphere and, and the way that the game turned out the atmosphere was just unbelievable it was uh, it's something that I've, I've never played in an atmosphere like that and, and something that I'll cherish and then uh, I think my favourite memory was basically you know uh, our last home game yeah, uh, opening of the new stadium uh, you know and fortunate enough to, to open the stadium with my, my two little kids and, and you know run onto the, to the field for the last time with them and share that really special moment with my wife and my kids uh, you know I think that, that that's probably stands out as my, my favourite memory. Brilliant. Uh, you can tell you and the family means a lot to you. Have you enjoyed your time with your family off the pitch here in Northern Ireland as well? Yeah, absolutely. Look, I think that's a, the, the thing that probably stands out for us. You know, uh, uh, you know, rugby is a is a great game and, and, and obviously you know you put a lot in and there's a lot of days where it's uh, where it's really tough it's early mornings to late afternoon or late evening and uh, but then you also get your days where you where you don't do that much and you have a bit of time to recover and a time to to spend time at home and, and those are the times that uh, uh, you know Belfast is a beautiful place and if the weather allows then uh, it's a great place to be outdoors and to take the kids out and go for coffee and go for a walk and uh, and we've really enjoyed that you know uh, I think if my wife had an option she would have stayed here for the rest of her life. She absolutely loved it. Uh, made some amazing friends, you know, away from rugby and in rugby, and uh, uh, and it, that's you know that's that's pos you know basically the reason why I've enjoyed it so much. You know, because it wasn't only rugby, uh, but it was also away from rugby that we had a great time. Um, you mentioned the stadium redevelopment and, and opening that up. Things have changed an awful lot here in, in Ulster over the past four years. Did you ever imagine that Ulster Rugby would be in such a strong position? you know, four seasons after you started? Yeah, look, uh, before I came, you know, the, the vision uh, was explained to me and, and, and the planning was explained to me and where they wanted to go and, uh, and, and you know, the first couple of days I was here, you know, I sat down with Shane and uh, and, and Shane, you know, basically told me his vision and his plan for, for the, where this club wants to go in the next 5, 10, 20 years and, uh, uh, and you know, back then, you know, it was a, it was a, a wonderful story um, and uh, didn't really think that it'll, 
you know, it'll happen that quickly. And, uh, and now four years down the lay line, if you have a look at the facilities that we've got here, if you have a look at the squad that we've got, the players, uh, you know, the backroom staff, you know, everything uh, is falling into place. And I think the foundation has been been laid in the last four years uh, for this club just to go forward. Uh, you know, we've, we've basically, I think we're only right at the bottom of the iceberg right now. You know, there's still such a big mountain to climb, but uh, the foundation has been laid and, and there's wonderful people working here and wonderful people playing here, uh, coaching, uh, you know, all the, all the things are in the right, right direction and, uh, uh, and, and I'm really excited to follow, you know, where also rugby is going to go in the next five, ten years. You and you're one of a number of high profile players to leave the province this summer, but do you think that Ulster will regain that strength? Yeah, look, without a doubt, uh, I actually think it'll get stronger, uh, to be honest, you know, uh, uh, like I said earlier, you know, foundations has been laid, uh, you know, new players are coming in, you know, uh, I know a couple of them and, and, and they're not only outstanding rugby players, but they're brilliant people as well and, and they'll add a huge amount on and off the field to, to this club and, uh, and, and, you know, I think that's always been the vision of this club, it's not only, not only the performance out there, you know, on the pitch, you know, week in and week out, that's also uh, what you bring to, to this place, you know, Away from rugby, and uh, uh, and, the, and the guys that coming, uh, the guys that's coming in is great people, and they'll add a huge amount. And uh, uh, and like I said, you know, the foundation has been laid, uh, the cake has been baked, and uh, it's just you know putting the icing and the cherry on the top now for this club to to win some silverware. And, and I've got no doubt within the next year or two, uh, you know, there'll be some silverware in that uh, in that cabinet. Um, you mentioned that you know a couple of the guys coming in, Louis, Zane and Franco. Uh, what can the Ulster fans expect to see from those guys and what is it to look forward to? Yeah, look, like I said, uh, I, I think uh I think on the field they'll actually really be happy that I'm leaving because uh, you know you you get the likes of Franco that, that's basically replacing me as a as an outstanding rugby player. He's a wonderful guy. Uh, he's a good leader. Um, you know, so I, I think he'll fit into the squad. You know, so so quickly and uh, and then you get the likes of, of Louis and Vian that I've both both played with. Uh, you know, both of them young guys, um, great rugby players, uh, but more importantly, great people. You know, uh, they, they, their character can't be questioned. And uh, uh, and you know when the going gets tough, you know. That's that's when when guys like this normally stands up and be counted. So uh, I, I'm I'm really sad that I won't be here, to, you know, to see them grow and to see them uh, enjoy this experience. But but I'm sure that the Ulster fans and the people of, of Belfast and Northern Ireland uh, will will embrace them like like they've done with us and like they've done with me. And uh, uh, you know, in two, three, four, five, six years down the line, um, you know, uh, these guys and Ulster rugby will uh, will have an amazing time because because like I said, they're great people and great rugby players and. They'll They'll, they'll add a huge amount to this place. Great. Um, anyway, and you've been such a huge part of Ulster Rugby for the past four seasons. What kind of legacy do you hope to leave behind? <laughs> no, I don't think much. Um, it's uh, look. I, I think I, I'm just. I'm just really honoured. Um, uh, and humbled, you know, to be to be part of uh, of this building phase of Ulster Rugby because it's always been, uh, or it's never been a, a one or two or three year vision. You know, it's always been a five, ten, fifteen, twenty year vision. And uh, and to be here for the last four years and to and to see the growth within the team, uh, you know, on the field but also off the field. You know, to see the facilities develop like it has, uh, the backroom staff. You know, every single thing in Ulster Rugby is in a way better place now than it was four or five years ago. And and, uh, and I think that's the thing that excites me. Uh, to to I, I was part of something really special and something uh, that was only the start of a of a great journey. And uh, and like I said, I can't wait to to see where this club is going to go in the in the years to come. And and, and I'll I'll follow it very passionately back from South Africa. Can you come back to see us again? You will? Absolutely. I'm back in September already for uh, I'm coming towards the Ryder Cup, so uh, I might pop in uh, for a quick game at uh, at the new uh, Kingspan Stadium and. Uh, um, but uh, no, look, we'll we'll be back on a yearly basis. Uh, uh, this is this is part of our life, and this was home for us for the four years. And my little boy was born over here, so I've got to go and show him where he was born. And uh, yeah, look, we'll we'll definitely be back and come and visit. That's great. Thanks very much. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you.